Welcome Virgo Libra to your numerology reading for January. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. See what's going on with you, my friends. You have 13 coming out from Spirit saying, keep up with the great effort that you're doing. Um, this is going to give you the stability that you're looking for with the one plus three equals four, which is the stability. The 13 is the effort with a new beginning and of course, it's very happy, and we see the intention coming through, and this is the effort towards the intention of getting this project finished. So whatever you are working on, I feel like you really need to finish up the project. It's almost time. Uh, yes, focus on the big, bold vision. Big, bold vision for you, it really feels like getting this done. Busy as a bee over here. You see the bee on her head. Um, and yes, I do feel like this is exactly where you're going to be. Okay, and the next card coming out is the courage. Having the courage to step into the unknown and, you know, keeping the big, bold vision around you, though, is going to keep you busy as a bee, but not knowing exactly where you're going, um, even though you're putting in all this effort. Um, Spirit says, just keep going forward. Don't worry about what's over there. Just keep the courage alive. Keep going strong. I've got something wonderful coming in with you with the one of energy over here. So it feels like you already have a lot of energy putting out a lot of effort. Um, just keep yourself courageous. Um, don't worry so much about um, when it's going to come through just yet because it's still in the process. Just keep your courage going. Don't give up on your big, bold vision. Um, and whatever project it is you're doing, whatever your situation is, uh, clarifying on that. There is some kind of offer coming in for you. Um, you might not have the communication that you need at this time, and maybe that's what kind of like not knowing what's through this uh, forest over here for you because you're kind of saying, well, I'm not sure exactly where that is, but I'm going to put on my armor over here. Um, Spirit says just go ahead and put on the armor and walk through the forest. Don't worry about it because um, it's going to take you to the end of the project. It's going to take you exactly where you need to be. Um, sometimes we put in all this effort, uh, but then we there has to be some kind of risk or something that we might have to jump. Um, and then it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. And it does feel like it's because you do have this, this offer that's coming through, but it feels like you're not getting the communication through the offer that you're really looking for. Um, but don't have any doubts and worries about the situations just because they're not talking to you the way that maybe you're looking for these answers and they're not straightforwardly giving them. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it feels like you're still manifesting a lot of good offers and there is the chariot coming in. So you're definitely going to have a new direction coming towards you anyways. And it's going to be due to the king of cups. So it's definitely due to this offer here. So don't, I would worry, not worry about what the king of swords is saying so much at this point, because it does feel like they're giving you kind of the runaround. Um, and it's kind of a light down in some ways. Um, but Spirit says, don't worry about it because the King of Cups is coming in with the chariot to say, well, I have this offer over here that you've been manifesting, even though the King of Swords says, well, what about this? And then it's like, well, I don't know, because it's not what I was looking for. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. So it's almost like the King of Swords is a little discouraging when the King of Cups comes in and says, I'm very encouraging because the Knight of Cups is the same as the King of Cups, right? Same person. So one's very discouraging about the big, bold vision, and the other one's very encouraging, which was going to bring in the chariot. It's crazy because it could even be the same workplace. So you could be definitely talking to some, like, assistant manager, and then the real manager, the king of cups, comes up and says, don't worry about what the assistant manager said. I've got this for you. Talk about being on two different pages, right? Because I do feel like for some of you, it is definitely an assistant manager saying, well, I'm not sure if we have any real openings. Really, that's really interesting because your general manager just called me and said, you did. <laughs> what the? What? what? Yeah. So, yeah, it could be, you know, take it how it resonates. I'm just saying that's for somebody. It's called, you know, like crossfire communication over here because it does feel like the king of swords doesn't really know how to communicate very well. What? Hey, your swords, aren't you supposed to be communicating better than the water anyways? No, you don't know what you're doing. Just saying, right? Yeah, it's because all of a sudden when this one offer comes through, it's almost like you're confusing me and you're telling me to stay in the waiting game and you're not really proposing anything to me. But then yet I've got the king of, of cups over here saying, yeah, we're going to move forward with this because I got the chariot coming in for you and I got exactly what you want. Yeah, talk about being displaced and 
you know, that's why take the risk, take, use the courage, stand up, say, you know what? I have a big, bold vision. I'm going after this. I've been busy as a bee. I don't know what you're talking about, right? I don't know what you're talking about because in seriousness, your king of cups says that this is exactly what they're looking for, right? And if you guys are selling art or, or playing music or something, you've got somebody here that's saying this and that, right? No matter what, it's miscommunication. But I wouldn't worry about it. Have the courage to follow through. Have the courage to speak up. There's a lot of swords here saying use the, that throat chakra, my friends, and speak your truth. Because your stability lies within the king of cups' hands. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely whoever, right? Saying, yeah, Pisces, Cancer. Shoot, might even be a Pisces, Cancer rising. That's crazy, right? Um, however... But no, they have the reflection. They see what's going on. You had the big, bold vision of this is what I want to do with my life. I've been putting in all the effort for this job, for this thing. And now you're giving me miscommunication. Spirit says, no, nope, keep the effort going because the goal is on its way. Listen to what you need to listen to and listen for your truth. Because he holds the cups. And right as soon, yeah, he holds the cups. As soon as this gets going, that's when it's going to start moving. And, you know, it's crazy because it might even be that the King of Cups says something to the King of Swords. And then the King of Swords is the one that actually has to come back with the communication and say, well, I'm sorry I screwed that up. Or it's moving right now. Please come in. And you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, wow. And that's because you just keep manifesting on it. But it also feels like the King of Cups might have been manifesting someone like you as well. Why? Only for the fact that you have exactly what he's looking for. But I wouldn't doubt for some of you that the person who's over here confusing you says, oh, yeah, well, the general manager says, or the owner says, or the editor says that you can come on in now. Really? That's interesting, because I told you that he said that already. Oh, boy. So take it how it resonates. You know, if that's not your story, you can throw it away. But I'm just saying it's something literally like that, right, to almost a T. No matter what, it's almost to a T. Only for the fact that you have one telling you, I'm offering you cups, and the other one is saying, I'm not sure. That's not exactly what we were looking for. Or I'm not even sure if we have that opening. And you're like, how could that be possible? He already called. So then there, it's almost like it's trying to work on your doubts and insecurities and spirits says, don't do that. Take the effort. Take it. Do what you need to do. You have to call that king of cups. And say, hey, well, you know, the King of Swords says that, yeah, well, no, that's not what I said. And it's going to actually make the King of Cups reflect for a second because he might be a very busy person and be, oh, yeah, I remember you. Oh, boy. So, yeah, but keep that effort alive because this is exactly where the dream comes in. This job or whatever this is for you when this happens, this is going to have that turnaround. And it's going to take you exactly where you want it. Spirit says. Well, the nose upside down, so we know that's yes, it is. And be assertive with the action because... Do not allow them to make the chariot not come. Look, if your chariot's already there, don't allow the dream to go away. Make sure that you're being assertive enough to go and talk back to this person because he's holding the gift, right? He's holding the gift for you. You're ready, right? It's just the other one is just confused and confusing you. That's what it really feels like. Maybe they have a misunderstanding. They are confused. They didn't know what the hell is really going on. However it is, okay? But yes. Okay, but just make sure you stay sort of a, a, a with the situation. Even though the King of Swords says no, you go back to the King of Cups. Make sure you do so, okay? Because then we could have missed out on something um, because we didn't use our throat chakras, right? Don't want to do that. Take that action, stand your ground. You're doing it for your stability. Plant your feet, and you got this, okay? Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.